the place that I'm at now, yeah. Yeah. when I said, oh, I just can't be too you know, I'm just going to be like this until I die. Praise God. Amen. That those events that I thought was just cause and effect brought me to where I am. And now I see that there's a God was with me the whole time. The whole time I was trying to get away from him the whole time. I, I didn't want nothing to do with him the whole time. I was spitting on his hand. He's still right there. Yeah. I love him so much because it's all and everything. Yeah. This, this knowledge of knowing that everything's by his hand is so peaceful. Know he's got everything under control. Yeah. You know, you can plan out your day. How often does that happen? How many things come up? Even if you don't have much to do, everything ever really fully over making plan. Alright. Come on. Something always comes up. Something always happens. Praise God. So much, he's done so much. Yeah. Yeah. He can take a drug at it. Uh huh. Come on. The lamest of the lame. Yeah. Thank you. And lift them out of the ashes. Yeah. And give them a purpose and a direction. And I'm positive that God can do that. Jesus can do that for anyone. Yeah. So don't listen to your eyes. Your eyes can't speak, but. Yeah. Bear with me here. Don't listen to your eyes. Your eyes see and tell you, oh, that's that's how it is. Don't listen to your eyes. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Let him let him be your eyes and yeah. ears because you know he doesn't fail like our eyes and ears fail. Yeah. Love him so much. Yeah. Give him all glory, on because I need that. Pray with all. Pass the mic over.
Call him. I'm complicated. I can't. I gotta see something to believe in. You gotta prove me wrong. And I'm mad that her that she needs a truck and she was touched by it. But I mean, I said, this isn't so right. No, I bet you this isn't the way he really talks. Just touching an act. And I questioned, I told God to myself, but this is really him. Yeah, you know what? I won't see it until I believe it. And I'm sitting right here, and this brother comes walking in. And I was like, God. And I was like, man, I was like, man, that's the guy. That's the guy. I see, I was like, that's him right there. Man, Amanda, Amanda, look, that's him. Only because of what I, what I told to God, and I told God to myself. I was like, I don't know. It's not him, but the way he talked and the way he moved and everything was according to that CD. And man, God just kicked me in the face with that message and now I get it in my head. But I told my brother about that, my old brother Derek, and his testimony. He said, so Kevin, have you ever heard my testimony? I said, no. He said, well, here it is. And he's like, tell me about it. And we had the same similar situation that that brother of Bill Nance had. And by the time he was telling me that, when he said that it was Jesus, that it was God that brought him out of him, had, had given his life back to him. Because he lost his life in his own, in our house, in our room, in his room, he lost his life due to drugs. And man, I was, I was touched by it. And I, I know for a fact that all the scriptures and stuff, man, it just moves so smooth. I don't even know where those words came from that I was telling him. And I knew it hit him right here. And I know God is working on him. And when we were there at the house, he was crying. And Sister Alyssa was there. And every time we go to church, before we come, he's like, hey, you're going to come to church. And he just blows me off, like, no, nah, man, I'm just going to hang out and kick back. But before, I was like, all right. I, I did my little um, my little runway shoot with them. I always throw a bunch of clothes in the last five minutes before we're about to leave. I'm like, oh, this is I'm going to get down with some church. And I'm going to get in front of them. I'm trying to get in so you can like, laugh at it. It's still, it's still church. But he's like, man, dude, get the best of the I was on YouTube. And I saw you in the front row. I was like, man, you're looking bad, dude. What, what, what's wrong with you wearing basketball shorts and a, a cutoff at church? Why are you dressed like that? And he didn't understand it was during our play. And I have to say, it was during our play. But you know what? I know he's watching that YouTube flick of the revival that's going on because he wouldn't have noticed me standing right there in the front. And I know, I know God is working with you. I know he is. I know he is. And I thank God and I give God all the praise and the glory for all the work that he's putting in and just the little things that day by day that he's working with my brother. And um, he told me, People may be saying things that I'm far away. He said, he said, I know where I'm at. I'm scared. He said, I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know if I should go to church. He hasn't been to this revival yet, but he'll show up on a Sunday morning. He's like, maybe Sunday morning. I was like, how about tonight? He said, no, because I know when he steps in that door during the revival, he's going to be in for an interview for something. And I know God's gonna work and I know God has something to do. And before that, I know that's what he's scared of. I know as the day goes by he's thinking about it. But I give God all the praise and glory and just for me to even talk to my brother like that about church and what how my experiences are with God and how I can share it with him. And because when we would talk about church, he would just walk off and run off from us. But when I see my brother tear up and cry, and then, man, I told my brother, he was probably size to preach. And I, I cried to him. I told him, I love you, man. I love, I love you, my dad. I love you, dad. And I don't want you guys to go to hell. And I just cried to him at the table, in the kitchen. And none of you 
doesn't want you to go to hell. And I cried to them. I really did. No crocodile tears like Chopper said. It was nothing like that. My brother never sees me cry, man. It just, that was something. For me and my brother, I think that time and everything that set up in the kitchen, that was a certain time. And I think God had equipped me with different scriptures and stuff like that throughout this revival to tell him and spread a little bit of the word and truth to him. And I was happy today. I didn't get the gospel, but man, I just, it made my day worth wow, just the fact that I got to talk to my older brother about church. And everybody should talk to their loved ones like that. God is doing something. I think it's something with my life. He did something with you guys' life here. He has. We're all here. We have one saved all boys in the house. But me, telling my brother that I never I never felt the impact of how I really cared for my brother until it came down to it. I never felt and thought about it. When I read that book, the Bible in Russia, how I told my brother what I read, and man, it hit me. It's like, man, Derek, I don't want you to go there. I know, man. I want you to do it. The family else, man, I just don't want you to go there. I know they don't want their family to go there. Yeah. Like the brother said, I don't know how many years it took for him to get over what he went through in hell. I can only imagine. I don't want to think about it. But that's something that's real. That's everlasting. But I told myself, as long as I'm here on earth, I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to keep trying. Those of you that I'm saying, don't give up. Don't give up. God moves on the end of your prayers. He answered my mouth's prayers. I'm here. He answered the message for you. I'm here. When I was in it, I knew a little bit about church. I knew a lot about the time. I had a girlfriend or a wife that would be in church. Amanda wasn't, she didn't know nothing about church. She knew it was a God, though. And she never gave that up. And before my mom said, upset, People in her family, she doesn't, she wants you to have the best. <laughs> if you have God in your life, that's, that's your the best. Yes. And I'm happy that God blessed me in the life that we can both share the same relationship with you, God. <laughs> but I'm thankful for everything. That God bless me with. It is hard sometimes, it is. I ain't gonna lie. But you know what? Whatever. It's hard for those five minutes, whatever you think, you know, whatever you're going through just for that day. But you know what? There's always a new day. And you know what? I don't even know why it took me so long to notice it now, but you always win. With God, you always win. It may not seem like it, no matter what, but you always win. Nothing can go wrong. It's already really temporary. Just keep the end in mind. This is only temporary. There's times where I'll fall short. There's times where I don't even, I mean, I admit it. I have a fault. My body, when we're coming to church, I'm angry. And I want to jump off that truck. Not while it's moving, but I want to just walk home or go somewhere else. I can't do this. But my spirit, man, keeps me in that truck and brings me to the ghost. There's a lot of, there's a lot of 
kind that my body wants to do other things, but my spirit, man, won't let me. Yeah, it's like I'm thinking, and my body wants to do one thing, but I want to go here, but it's my spirit, man, it's pulling me this way. I'm finally understanding, and I know I may not be deep in the earth or that knowledgeable in church, but I know God is working on but I'm thankful you guys and every one of you guys I'm thankful for all you guys and happy you guys back here and I'm just thankful for my brother I mean like this is good news for me I mean like I've been praying for this for the longest and I just want my brother to be here with me and I know he has a lot to offer to this church and he has a lot going I mean he has a job for God Jesus, oh, I know he, he can be put to work. Spiritually, he has a lot to offer. The reason why I say that is because I have a lot of questions when I go to church. I have a lot of questions. And if he's there, not only will I have my mom, who's... No. <laughs> no. Church starts at 7. 
So I'm like, all right, I'm going to go to church. But you know what? I'm thankful. That's it. That's all I'm going to say. And I give God all the praise and glory for what He's doing in my life. And as testimonies come through, Thank you. 